Let's just take a few minutes to breathe together. Coming into that straight spine, allowing the breath to deepen. Bringing a gentle tuck to the chin. Allowing whatever you were doing before to drop away, whatever waits for you after this class. Just anchoring into this present moment, the eternal now. Bringing hands into prayer mudra at the center of the chest. Rolling the eyes to the third eye. Let's take three breaths together chanting the Adi Mantra and then the Mangala Charn Mantra together. Tuning in, partnering up with our higher self, synchronizing the space, synchronizing with each other, joining that infinite field of consciousness, of oneness. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale to chant. Om Namo Guru De. Namo Om Namo Guru Dev Namo Om Ad gude name, jugad gude name, sat gude name, siri guru de be name. Ad gude name, jugad gude name, sat gude name, siri guru de be name. Ad gude name, jugad gude name, sat gude name, siri guru de be name. Inhale. Hold the breath at the top, apply root lock, draw that energy up, gaze powerfully out the third eye. Inhale, exhale slowly, stay with eyes closed. Today we're working with the emotion of fear, the state of consciousness of fear. So checking in with your higher self, with God, with Holy Spirit, with the universe, the field of love, whatever, whatever language works for you. 
check in to see what unresolved fear from your past is ready to be healed and released in this time together. No, no need to go deep into the story. Just hold it in love and light, and we will work with this during our Kriya and our meditation today and just allow healing to be revealed. Wholeness is our natural state, so we don't have to do anything except allow. Surrender, offer, and be willing to accept what is already ours. <sighs> Inviting any other gratitudes or intentions that you'd like to for this practice today. And whenever you're ready, you can just relax your hands down and gently open your eyes, coming back into this space. As usual, just going to invite you to stay with eyes closed throughout the practice with that gaze at the third eye, unless you need to look to me for instruction. Try to keep that inward focus, that connection with your true nature, <laughs> with the field of love. Try to maintain that as your center throughout the practice. So we'll start our warm-up with some Sufi grinds. So choosing a direction, inhaling forward, exhaling back. Making those circles with your torso, your navel point is what's driving this movement. Using your arms as levers to help you really articulate the spine. Linking the breath to the movement. Taking it as fast or as slow as you like this morning. Feel that spine waking up. Getting those fluids moving. You can ro rotate directions when you find yourself in the center at the front. Switch directions. Keep going. Keep 
that gaze at the third eye. Inhale in the center, hold the breath, apply root lock, squeezing the muscles of the anus, the genitals, the lower stomach, drawing that energy up. Gently relax and release the breath. Bringing the hands to the shins, begin spinal flex, inhaling, arching the back forward, exhaling, arching the back back, linking the breath to the movement, keeping the gaze at the third eye with eyes closed, allowing the neck to just follow the movement with passively, it's not actively involved here. You can invite that sat nam if you like, sat on the inhale, mentally vibrating, sat as you inhale, nam as you exhale. Bringing those spinal fluids up, further up our spine, further waking things up, getting the energy flowing getting our bodies warm, working with those lower chakras. Stop the movement in the middle, inhale, apply root lock, hold the breath, slowly exhale, relax the breath, relax the lock. Bringing yourself into rock pose. We'll continue with the spinal flex. Arching forward and back, inhaling forward, exhaling back. Just notice what's different about doing this in this position versus in Sukhasana.
Inhaling in the middle. Once again, apply root lock. Hold the breath. And relax and release. Next, we'll do torso twists. You can stay in rock pose or find your way back down into easy pose, whichever you prefer. Bringing the fingers to the front of the shoulders, the thumbs to the back, elbows are parallel to the ground. Inhaling left, exhaling as you twist right. Eyes are closed. Vibrate sat on the inhale, nam on the exhale. Breathing powerfully in and out the nose. <laughs> Twisting as far in either direction as your body allows. Stopping in the middle, inhale, hold, apply Mulabandha, root lock. Relax and release. Now begin rolling your shoulders up and forward. Inhaling up, exhaling down and back. Inhaling up and forward, exhaling down and back. Linking the breath to the movement. Jumping from the heart chakra up to the throat chakra moving into the upper chakras, waking things up. Reversing direction, moving the shoulders up and back. Inhale and hug those shoulders up to your ears. Apply root lock. Drop the shoulders and powerfully exhale through the mouth. And 
now you can start rolling your neck slowly in one direction, back and around, forward and down, inhaling as you go back, exhaling as you go forward, challenge yourself to take this as slow as you can, slower than you find natural even. Challenge yourself to slow down. Maybe there's other places in your life you can challenge yourself to just slow down. Inviting your shoulders to relax here, your face is relaxed, when you find your face down in the center of your chest you can rotate directions. When you find your face down in the center of your chest, inhale, bring the spine straight. Exhale, relax. Here we'll begin lion's breath. Stay with eyes closed, stick your tongue out and down and breathe powerfully in and out of your mouth with a panting breath. Eyes are at the third eye. Keep going. If you need to take a break from the breath, come back to it as quickly as you can. We'll be here for three minutes.
Keep going, we're halfway there. Got this, only 30 more seconds, less than 30 seconds. Keep going, almost there. Inhale through the nose, apply root lock. Slowly and with control, exhale. Stay within and just observe. Noticing. anything feels different after that pranayam. Now bring the arms straight out in front of you. Take your right hand, grab your left wrist, and fold it until you feel a stretch in your wrist and your forearm. Switch wrists, do the same on the other. And back to the left, this time pulling it back, feeling the stretch in a different part of the forearm. Switch arms. Okay, relax and release. We are warmed up. Let's begin our Kriya to relax and release fear. We're going to start standing. We're, from here, we're going to come into a flat back. You can grab behind your knees, keeping the legs straight. And here, we'll do cat, cow, arching the back. Arching the back down, arching the back up. And we'll be here for three and a half minutes. So prepare your mind, pace yourself, and begin. Linking the breath to the movement, keeping those legs straight. 
inhaling up, arching the head back, exhaling down, arching your back, rounding your back, continuing at your own pace, linking the breath to the movement. Keeping the legs as straight as possible. Observing any sensations in the body as a witness without getting tangled up in the story, without identifying yourself with the sensation or with the body, just observing, noticing. Well over halfway, keep going. Almost there, only 30 more seconds. Inhale up to a flat back. Exhale, fold down. Keeping the legs straight as possible. Breathing here and when you're ready, you can come up to mountain pose. Slowly coming up to stand tall. Staying with eyes closed. From here, we'll do standing torso circles. So bringing your torso around, your hips go opposite your torso, picking a direction. Staying with eyes closed if you can while maintaining your balance.
maybe inviting some fun into this movement. Tapping into that inner child that probably would enjoy doing something like this. Bringing some lightness to it, maybe a smile. Or maybe it's stirring something else entirely different up for you, and that's okay too. Go ahead and switch directions here. Maybe there are some fears that have been trapped in your hips that are talking to you right now during this exercise. Just waking that up, giving it permission to express and release. Keep going. Almost there. Only 30 more seconds here. Keep going. Beautiful. Inhale in the middle. Exhale. Relax. You can find your way back down to the mat. Give your body whatever it's asking for in this moment. Take the next 60 seconds for you.
come back to Sukhasana with legs crossed and spine straight. Bring fists in front of your chest like you're gripping a steering wheel. And here we'll do those torso twists again, inhaling left, exhaling right. Powerful inhales and exhales through the nose. Keep twisting. We'll be here one more minute. Inhale in the center, apply root lock, hold the breath, hold the lock. Exhale, relax and release, stay with eyes closed. For this next exercise, we will be with arms at 60 degree angle, palms are open, and here we will be just flapping our hands, open and closed. Eyes are closed, gaze is at the third eye. This exercise helps to break up any Arthritis in our hands helps to prevent arthritis. And think of waving goodbye to those fears. Keeping the arms as straight as possible, maintaining that 60 degree angle, dropping the shoulders down and back, keeping that gaze at the third eye. A 
imagine that any perceived discomfort is that fear leaving your body. It's got to come into our awareness before we can be free of it. And the body starts telling stories of discomfort or pain or I can't do it. See if you can just bring a gentle, serene smile to your face. One more minute here, you can do it. You can do hard things. You are stronger than you even know, more powerful than you even know. The power to create worlds lies within you. You can do this exercise. Inhale. Keep those arms up. Apply root lock. Exhale, sweep the arms down and around. Relax and observe. For this next exercise, we're going to do a fist, but with our thumb tucked in. <clears throat> we'll be breathing in and out of an O-shaped mouth. We'll inhale the arms in, exhale the arms out. So it'll look like this. So you can go ahead and begin. Channel those fears into the exhale, punching them out. Releasing what no longer serves. Your path of love, your path of joy, your path of freedom. Releasing the fears that keep you playing small.
Keep going. Halfway there, you can do this. Stay as the observer of your experience. Don't get swept up in the story. Identified with the story. Just notice. Keep going, 30 more seconds. You can do anything for 30 seconds. Keep going. Channel all your power, all your strength into this moment. Inhale this fist to the chest. Exhale those arms out to the side. Apply root lock. Hold the breath out. Hold the arms out. Inhale, release. Relax. Now bring those fists out in front of you and begin rolling them out, rolling them away from each other. We're only here for one minute. You can do this. Ten more seconds. Inhale. Exhale, relax the arms down. This next exercise will come into crow pose. In crow pose, our feet are flat on the ground. Bring those fists again with the thumbs out, kind of in that steering wheel position again. Our elbows are up. And here we will inhale up, exhale back down. Thumbs are out, exactly. One and a half minutes here, so you can do this. Inhale up, exhale down. Keep those elbows up, keep those feet flat on the ground.
Over halfway, keep going. Inhale up, exhale down. Last 20 seconds, see if you can pick up the pace. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up to standing. Exhale, relax the arms down. When you feel ready, find your way back down to the mat. <clears throat> you may like to reverse the cross of your legs. Here, we're just going to do sitali breath for four minutes. So you will inhale through a rolled tongue. Slow and steady and exhale through the nose. Slow and steady. Eyes are closed. Gazing out the third eye. Inhale through that rolled tongue. Exhale through the nose. This is a cooling and calming breath. a good breath to practice to help lower your blood pressure. Maybe we elevated our blood pressure with those exercises. This is helping bring that back down. Thank you. 
relax the breath. Let your breathing return to normal. And here in your seat with eyes closed, we'll raise our arms and begin dancing in our seat, moving the arms, moving the body, however you feel inspired to do so. Moving with the music. There's no right or wrong here. Feel the mantra moving in and through your body, inspiring the movement. Feel the beauty of God moving in and through you, expressing as you. Channel all the love in the universe into this movement. Stay with eyes closed, maintain that sacred energy. Mm. 
And then to rock pose. And here we'll carry that sacred energy into a bowing. Bringing our forehead to the mat and back up. Exhaling down, inhaling up. The pace is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, hold, nine, ten, and then repeat. Allow the mantra to vibrate through you. What devotion can you bring into this movement? What appreciation or awe, wonder, joy, surrender, channel it all into this movement, allowing our heart to lead. Feel the vibration of the mantra with your whole body. Without the intellect getting involved or needing to understand it, just feeling the vibration. Inhale up. Exhale down into baby pose. You can bring the arms up above your crown in prayer, or you can rest them alongside your body, palms up.
When you're ready, find your way back up into a seat. Here we'll bring Venus lock behind our neck, spreading the elbows wide, meditating here. No specific breath. Keep that spine straight. Bring you, your gaze to your brow point, the third eye. Let yourself become very calm. See if you can feel the light of God within you. See if you can remove any sense of separation between God and yourself, removing the imagined space where God ends and you begin. How could that even be? There is no end to God. Gently relaxing the mudra, staying with eyes closed, make your way lying down on your back in Shavasana. Spreading the legs, maybe to mat width. Resting the arms alongside your body, 
palms facing up to receive, creating a little distance between your body and your arms. Fully surrendering in this moment, inviting every muscle in your body to release and relax. Allowing every cell and atom of your body to vibrate with the high vibration of love. आज 
Again, bringing your awareness back into this space, back into your body, bringing some gentle movement to the fingers and the toes. the wrists and the ankles. Bringing those arms overhead for a full body stretch. Bringing that right knee into the chest and drawing it across your body towards the floor on the left side. Bringing your gaze over your right shoulder for a twist of the spine. Coming back to center. Dropping that right leg down, bringing that left knee in, hugging it into your chest and then dropping it across the body towards the right side, gazing over the left shoulder. Coming back to neutral, hugging both knees into the chest, giving yourself a big juicy hug here, and then gently rocking side to side, massaging the spine. And rocking back and forth along your spine as you find your way back up into a seat. Bringing that spine into alignment. Dropping those shoulders down and back. Bringing a gentle tuck to the chin. Bringing that gaze back to the third eye. Bring palms together in the center of your chest, prayer mudra. Thumbs gently pressing into your sternum. Let's inhale together. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And we'll sing the long time sun. Blessing ourselves with this prayer chant. Blessing our loved ones. Blessing all of life. And then we'll finish with three satnams. The long time sun shine upon you. All us around you and the pure light within. Guide your way on. Name 
shine upon you. All I want is surround you and the fuel of our lives within May all beings remember and know that only love is real, that we are perfectly safe, perfectly protected, powerfully guided in every moment. May the truth be revealed and may only love prevail, sadhana. So our Kriya included a short meditation at the end, the Venus lock meditation, and our Kriya ran long. So we did not 